Hello friend, friends, uh, today I am doing something personal. Um, I'm actually working, oh well not working. I have one of my own guitars to play with today. I'm just going to take it off, it's off my new Hercules stand, which is a great stand by the way, and I'll show you what it is. I'm going to right into this. And yes, a Fender. All those years I says I would never own a Gibson or a Fender. I'm now I've both. And this is a Mexican Fender Strat, so 2007. And seriously, this is the condition of this is like new. It's amazing. It plays fantastic. Um, I got it for a really good price. I'll tell you what I paid for it. It was advertised at 350 quid. I didn't even ask for a reduction, but the lad who sold it, I don't really know him, but I've known him for a couple of three years off uh, Facebook. We've been friends on Facebook for a while. He's a guitar player like me. He likes good gear, and he says, being since you, he says, uh, you can have it for 300. So, problems with it, are there any problems? Not really. There was more wear on the frets than he let on, but he says he just hadn't seen it. He'd not checked the guitar over proper. I'm not bothered about that. You could not sell a guitar like this to a better person than me, me being fret friend. So if any fret problems, I can sort out anyway. But if there are any problems with this guitar, I've just noticed the, nut, the spacing on the nut is not quite right. If you look here, and look here, spacing is wider on this side than it is that side, it appears. No great shakes, that. And um, what else was wrong there? Oh, that was it, just a bit of, a bit of indentation in the frets. They don't bother me at all. But, anyone that knows me will be very surprised to see that I would own a regular Stratocaster. If I owned a Strat, they'd be saying, that's not Vic style, are in. I thought I'd have probably got one with a humbucker, and you would be absolutely right. So, what I've done is I've gone and bought a humbucker. I've got a brand new humbucker. And I looked around and I shopped around and I thought, I want something I can play heavy with, but I also want something that cleans up nice. And of course, I'm going to put a coil split in there so I can get keep getting my regular strap tones. And I looked around and I was going to go buy a bare knuckle, one of these new brute force jobbies. And as I went to go look for one last week, I got a 15% off coupon on eBay on any purchase up to X amount, 350 quid or whatever, and I get 15% off. So I went to buy this bare knuckle brute force, which is a super heavy, super overwound pickle. I could have got it in a zebra style, which I would have liked, but none of them did the 53 mil spacing one where I wanted, because I want an F space one. So I didn't bother. So I went and I found this, and it is brand new. And it's a, uh, I'm not going to put it back in, I'm not going to print this thing, here you go. Seymour Duncan, Zebra, everyone knows I love Zebras, and there's another reason why I've got a Zebra pickup. Um, it's a JB. Seymour Duncan, JB, 16km output. These are a lovely pickup. I've had a few of them over the years, I love them, they sound fantastic. I can play metal on them, and they clean up really nice. But the thing is, I'm not just swapping out the pickup. I'm swapping out the lot, these guts. The whole finger uh, scratch plate is coming out. All of the electrics, all of the pickups. I'm not keeping any of this stock stuff in, even though it sounds good. And what I've done is, I'm doing what I always do, and I'm gonna slightly upgrade. And I've decided I'm gonna have a new pick guard, and I'm not having a white pick guard, I'm having a tortoise shell. And I've already got the tortoise shell pick guard. And not only am I upgrading the pick guard and the bridge pickup, I'm also upgrading the neck and the middle pickup and the pots and the capacitors and the electrics and I'm going to put in a split coil switch and there you go and I've already done it and the only thing that's wrong about this is I've got the wrong pickup in at the moment but look here's my completed almost completed new scratch plate fits perfectly and you'll notice I've got two new pickups here and these aren't your regular bog standard pickups I'll show you what these are and I'm going to turn it around I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to come in like that. And there you go. Handmade in London, custom wound, oil sitter, middle and neck. These are the stone tone pickups, I believe. I think that's the name. I've also got new cream knobs, control knobs, cream switch tip, cream covers, brand new CTS pots, vintage style, 450S, 250, 250, 
500k there and I've put in a on on coil split there toggle which I um, have wired in just there and I've made it work in line with the pickup selector that is full on that is split pull up is split and there you go so that is all apart from having a, the uh, zebra pickup which will be going in there that way how uh, good is that going to look in this guitar it's going to look fantastic so i'm going to do that hopefully today i'm also replacing the socket and the holder because i have i've have actually actually had a switchcraft one in stock absolutely brand new this is i bought this for a, an upgrade i did a few years ago but i didn't need to upgrade the jack switchcraft jack regular standard cover plate there it's shaped right uh, no one's going to know this is not the fender one so i'm going to bang that in there and the scratch plate and pickups i'm going to put away and i'm going to keep i'm not going to sell them i could sell them if i was going to sell them i'd stick them on ebay i'd stick it on for 95 pounds it's original 2007 mexican with original pickups original parts blah 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 um and i'll stick it on ebay for about 95 quid uh, I am going to leave it, I'm going to keep it, in case I ever do decide to sell this guitar. I will, um, the only reason I'd get rid of this guitar by the way is if I got something better. If I buy something better I mean an American Strat, which would be fantastic. Even a Japanese Fender Strat, which would also be fantastic. Or maybe something as good as um, a higher end Yamaha type of affair. Or maybe even a Levinson Blade, like something like an RH4, which are uber uber difficult to get hold of but not i used to get hold of new but they're even more difficult to get hold of used um and they are a wonderful wonderful guitar i would recommend a blade levinson blade rh4 to any player who is a serious player because there's not a sound you really can't get out of those guitars they are amazing the tremolos are amazing the vsc is also amazing so there you go but we're sticking i'm sticking with this i love it i've been asked if i'm going to relic it I thought, what? What? Why would I relic it? I don't relic stuff. I'm right to relic it. I like stuff. I like stuff to look great. You know, and I like quality gear. So, no, I'm not relicking it. And I'm also, I've been asked if I'll sell the, uh, the loaded pit guard. No, I'm not. I'm not selling that. I'm keeping it just so I can get this guitar back to original. So what this guitar needs is a little bit of a fret level, um, a bit of a recrown on there. What's the finger, uh, the scratch plate replacing. I'm gonna leave the original bridge in there. I have thought about upgrading everything to gold hardware. Something I may still do, because I don't like gold hardware myself, but it actually looks really, really good on these guitars with that scratch plate, this scratch, kind of scratch plate. Oh, something else I've bought as well. These only have one string tree there, and these middle two strings are really, they're really high compared to the higher ones. I bought string trees uh, original proper fender ones which I'm going to put on the guitar so I've got to drill a hole put string trees on there. That string tree also is not on a stand it's just screwed right to the body that's too low so I'm going to alter that as well so it's going to have new string trees in there as well. So it's going to get the full fret friend treatment uh, as I always give on my own guitars. I have other guitars of my own I want to work on shortly which I'm going to work on shortly uh, I'm still not going to be doing anything in the workshop for anyone else for at least another what, 10 days or whatever it is. Um, I'm just fiddling about with my own stuff. I've got four of my own guitars I want to work on, this being my main one right now. So without further ado, I'm going to get out to my soldier iron. I'm going to remove the fantastic, don't get me wrong, I love this pickup. It's a Seymour Duncan Invader. And not just a regular Invader, it is a, it's a custom shop one. So that's going to be worth a few bob. Um, I'm not ever selling that, but I don't have a guitar for it. But it is a wonderful, wonderful pickup. I mean, you will be surprised with this pickup. I know it's mega high output. It gives you fantastic overdriven, distorted metal tones. It, but it cleans up absolutely beautiful. And you want to hear this split just on one coil. It sounds amazing. Much better. I know a lot of uh, traditional players do not use high-end pickups, but... I've got people, you've got people like Dave Barlow on YouTube, who is a PATH type of pickup player, low output pickups, around about 8K. He has recently moved over 
to, and he's not completely transitioned, but he started installing high output pickups and he has been surprised by how well they clean up and how good they sound and he started using them themselves and he is a big supporter of the Iron Gear pickup, which I was going to buy an Iron Gear pickup for this Fender Strat, but I thought, you know what, this came out, I've got the oil city, I was given an oil city anyway, I bought the other one and I thought, I saw the Seymour Duncan, the JB. Um, wrongly called the Jeff Beck pickup, it's not Jeff Beck pickup, JB stands for Jazz and B for Bridge, so it's a Jazz at Bridge pickup. Um, but anyway, that's it, it's where I am, so without further ado, I'm going to crack on, get these upgrades done. Uh, I'll probably not do the frets today, I'll get the upgrades in today and I'll come back, I'll give it a play and we'll see where we are and I'll come back and give you an update later. And here is the uh, pick guard, scratch plate, completed. Blah, 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 blah. I think that looks a lot better than just an old black pickup in there. It looks fantastic. Wiring's relatively neat. I've also coiled the extra cord around the pickup itself, just to keep everything neat in there. Um, still quite pleased with how that is. You're not going to see any of that anyway. I think that looks fantastic. So this is now ready to go in the guitar. I'm ready to wire a new jack socket on there. I've put in a 0.022 Mollard mustard capacitor in there. I've got a 0 0.033, a Russian PIO one uh, that I was going to put in there. But I'm going to try the 2.2 first and see how we get on. The Russian one I've had to adapt a little because the lugs snapped off, but that will also work. I'd like to think I'd get that one in there. Not that it makes it's going to make a great difference, but it will make a bit of a difference. So let's see how we are. And I'm going to crack on. Hello again, my friends. I um, hadn't done an update on this guitar for a while, but not where I forgot it, it's just a bit busy with other things, but here is the guitar finished. And before anything, I do apologise for the light, it's, it's a dusky early morning in England in October, and um, I don't have a light in there, I can't get the bulbs anymore, I can't get the 180, 200 watt ones like I used to, so we'll have to pull up with it for now. But here is the guitar, completed. And doesn't it look fantastic? You'll notice I've put some string trees on there as well, there's only one on the Mexican, one down this end, a far one, I've got I've bought a new set of two, but they're a little bit wider than I'd like, so I'm going to replace them anyway, but what I'm going to do is, I've decided I'm going to replace the hardware with gold hardware, so I'm going to buy, in time I'm going to get a gold bridge, probably a Wilkinson, um, gold jack, gold tuners, not fender tuners, but fender type tuners, fender spec tuners, uh, I'll get some from Vanson for about 30 quid and gold, I've already ordered some gold strap locks so I'm going to put them on there and the guitar looks fantastic but there is something I'm not quite happy with and it's not, no I'm not really happy with it, it's the, the, it's the bridge pickle, the JB, Seymour Duncan JB and it is a nice pickle, don't get me wrong and I had one in, in one of the Jacksons I had a few years ago, my DKM2 I bought brand new and it's a great pickle and it is a great pickle but this one is not F spaced it's just 50 mil pole spacing and it doesn't quite give me the output I was looking for. Now everyone knows I'm a big fan of the Invader pickup, but I'd have thought an Invader in this wouldn't look quite right. But I definitely do want a 52 mil or an F spaced pickup in there because if you see the pole pieces don't quite go under the strings, they're a bit inside. So I've gone and bought something else and it's something I'm going to try, I've not tried, oh, well, I've tried them before, I've fitted them for clients quite a few times and they are really quite astounding pickups and they're not expensive at all but they are great pickups. Now everyone knows that I'm a big fan of Seymour Duncan's. I always have been a fan of Seymour Duncan's. Not that I'm just Seymour Duncan, a Seymour Duncan player but I do love their pickups but I've gone and got something to try out and I know it's going to be good and it's an iron gear and it's an iron gear dirty talk and it's a, and I've just thrown this on the floor. It's an iron gear dirty talk and it's the same, the bobbins are exactly the same is on the um, thing you've got cream on the bridge side and this go towards the next side and this is quite a high output one I'm looking for that kind of tone you know like, like a Gibson 498T which you get on the studios which is one of my favorite pickups ever this is probably going to give me something like that it's a 15k output I'm going to have it split it's going to go exactly the same place as see what Duncan but this is F spaced 52 mil uh, spacing on the pole pole so it's going to fit it's just going to fit better, it's going to look better. And I'm hoping this is the one. I looked at a few of their pickups and the few I couldn't get in Zebra. 
I could have gone all cream, but I wanted zebra. I, I, everyone knows I love zebra pickles the best. So I'm going to put this in today. And I'm also going to show, I don't know if I've shown before, the, the um, wiring inside. Very standard wiring. I've got three brand new pots in there. They are CTS 450S pots for all 500K, even for the single coils. I've put a um, treble bleed on the volume, which works really, really well. But the output is really quite, it can be a little bit shrill. I have to turn my, vol uh, my treble down on my arm, which I don't mind doing that, don't get me wrong. Oil City Peacops did good. What Would I spend that over a set of uh, a pair of Vansons for 30 quid when these are 80 quid? I'd have been just as well going with the Vansons, I think. I do have friends who swear by these pickups, but then again, they are players that play predominantly on the neck and neck and middle pickups when they play a strap. I am not that kind of player. I love having that option, don't get me wrong. And don't get me wrong, I get some fantastic tones out of these, but I don't really have the experience to compare it with standard pickups or something a little bit cheaper or whatever. I'm absolutely certain that these Oil City pickups are nice pickups because they are nice pickups. But would I go and pay? 100 quid for a, for a pair of single coils, when I could get a pair of single coils for about 28 quid from Vanson or from Wilkinson. I don't know. Uh, I suppose it depends what level of player you are. But anyway, I'm looking forward to upgrading this. I'm not getting the gold hardware just yet. I'm just going to get this new pickup in there, get it set up. I think it's going to look brilliant. I know it's going to play brilliant. I get some fantastic sounds out of this. And what I really need to do is, uh, I need to learn the strap. I need to learn how to play a strat and, and play those tones because it's just real good fun playing with a little bit less, um, quite a lot less gain, but enough gain just to get you into that crunch chugga chugga. And when you get on this, uh, especially when you get on the neck pick up or the neck and middle together in position four and you play that chugga stuff, it's really, really good. It, it's a new thing to me, turning down my gain. Uh, and I'm really, really liking it at the moment, especially with a little bit of reverb on there, maybe a bit of delay. It sounds fantastic. The, it does have some great tones, but it's something I have to get used to. But anyway, I'm looking forward to upgrading this. I'm going to need to get some gold screws. Um, and so the gold bits are going to cost me another 100 quid. So this guitar, by the time it's finished, would have cost me another £250 on top of the £300 I paid. Now, that will set me up to about £550. I don't think... It might be a lot of money. For a Mexican Fender, but it's going to be my spec um, uh, Mexican Fender, and it's a good guitar as it, even if I went with three hundred pound to pay for it, it is good as it is. But with my upgrades, I think it's going to be brilliant. I just need to be a little bit happy about that bridge pickup. And once that's done, that's it. I can, if I'm happy with it, I'm going to go and get all the gold hardware. Like it cost me about hundred. No, if I do a refret as well, I think considering doing a refret with um, Jessgar gold evo or evo gold fret wire i will not have a fret wire much bigger than that that is basically a modern fender type um fret wire which i would say was about 2.6 millimeters wide by about 1.2 high that is perfect the nut is fine nice bone knot on there so all i'm going to do for today is get the new pickup in and if i'm happy with a pickup then we can look at upgrading the other parts to gold later on but end of the day Really, really happy with this guitar. It looks fantastic. Doesn't that doesn't make it look better than the white pick guard and the white pick horse. It looks fantastic. It feels great. And what I'm going to really do now is get used to playing with uh, less gain, getting into some strat tones. Um, I'm having guitar lessons, by the way. Uh, after 30 years, I signed up to an online course. Uh, pretty amazing, isn't it? You know, 30 years. But I've never predominantly been a lead player. Now, I, I, everyone knows I used to play lead. In Concrete Socks when I was there guitar, well I was Concrete Socks, guitar, Concrete Socks with my band, I formed Concrete Socks in 1984 and we were predominantly a three piece band so I played rhythm and lead and I wasn't really a lead player but I used to just hit the um, wah wah pedal and go and do some widdly things up this top end and nine times out of ten it sounded pretty good but my solos were never the same from one uh, day to the next, they were just played on the spot, nothing was really thought about, it was just you know, and I got away with it for, for a lot of the time, but I'm not predominantly a lead player. So I've gone and signed up, I've got an online course, and it's I'm going to learn to play lead guitar properly. Because I look at our guitarists at church and that, and, and they, they just whiz off into something. I'm thinking, that's brilliant. Wish I could do that. Well, I can do that if I learn it. So that's what I'm going to do. But anyway, the guitar, back to the guitar. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm just hoping that this pickup, and I'm sure it will, this Dirty Talk pickup will do what I want the JB to do. Plus, it is 52mm spaced anyway. I know this is going to be a great pickup. 
I know it's going to be up there with some of my favourites. My favourite pickup, I won't say my favourite pickup of all time is the 498T Gibson, but it is really quite up there. It's a fantastic pickup. Um, also, Seymour Duncan Invader is a favourite pickup of mine. I would like to think if I could get the Invader type tones out of this, it's a, it's a high output pickup, which is 15.4k. I'm going to be pretty close. I could have gone for a, um, we do a hammer. What was it? Hammerhead pickup, which is a bit more high output than this. I didn't want it that high output. I wanted something high output, obviously, but not mental. So I think this is going to be it. So I'm going to crack on with it. I've got the soldering iron heating up now. I'm going to get a string. This is the same strings I had on the guitar when I got it. They're a new set, but I bet they've been off four times now. I don't know if I've got to put these back on after. You know, how much stretch can you get out of a string? But anyway, I'm going to crack on. I might come and show you a bit of the work. I'll, I'll show you again the pick uh, in, under the pick guard, show you the new pots. I had to replace a volume pot because the one I had wasn't working properly and I went and got an, uh, I went and bought another pair of 450S's CTS ones and I stuck one in there I bought a linear and a logarithmic I put the logarithmic in I was going to try a linear but after looking at some videos and demos I thought nah, not bother I just bought a logarithmic audio one in there I've got, I've got three audio pots in there and they work fine I get a very very good sweep so I'm really happy with them so anyway I'm going to crack on back soon and the guitar for now is finished and let me just tell you something Iron Gear pickups amazing this uh, Iron Gear Dirty Talk pickup in the bridge it, it just blows me away it's just an amazing pickup it is just more or less like it's right up there with my favourite Gibson pickup which is a 498T bridge pickup which you get in studios you get in a lot of the guitars it's just a fantastic pickup this is amazing Dirty Talk is it better than the Seymour Duncan? Jeff Beck, or to say, I don't think it's in direct competition with it. I think it's more in di it's more similar to a Gibson 49T, 498T um, pickup. I don't know what I guess equivalent of um, Seymour Duncan JB is, which people commonly call the Jeff Beck pickup. It's not Jeff Beck pickup, but JB always stood for jazz bass. Jazz, uh, uh, jazz blues. Sorry, not jazz bass. J always stood for jazz blues. The people, people. The reason people call it the Jeff Beck pickup is Jeff Beck used the jazz blues pickup. See what I'm So we start people, people start calling it with Jeff Beck. Maybe he had a signature model later on. I don't know. But this pickup, really, really good. Where's the box for it? Don't know where the box is. Put it somewhere. Um. What a great, great pickup. So there's me shouting out for Iron Gears. I'm not saying it's better than the Seymour Duncan JB. Seymour Duncan JB is a great pickup. It was, it was up there with my favourites. It's just, I don't like it in this guitar. Maybe it worked fantastic in another guitar. Where's the box? What have I done with it? I've, I've been that busy this morning. Here you go. On the floor again. Iron Gear, dirty talk pickup in this guitar. So now my pickup configuration is... Got an Iron Gear Dirty Talk in the bridge. I've got a couple of Oil Cities, one in the middle, one in the neck. I forgot what Oil City pickups are. My box, yeah, here you go. Oil City pickups. What did I buy? Got no idea. The reason I bought this middle pickup is I was given the neck one by a good friend of mine, Rob Peach, uh, out from Canic there. And this is the little note I got from uh, Oil City. Blah, 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 and a bit of a wiring thing there. Oh yeah, please read all city pickup pickups. Do contact us with any feedback you have. We love hearing about instruments and love seeing pictures. Our website is blah blah blah, and that's it. Don't even know which one I ordered. Uh, they have a non-adjustable pole piece, which are just flat. Um, they're not staggered or they're not radiused. So whatever they are. Anyway, the all city pickups are fine. I've been plugged in this morning. I've been through the sounds you can get out of this guitar is amazing. And this is what I love. And like I say, I don't really know how to play a strap properly, but what I love about a strap is you can get in on your dirty channel for your humbucker. You can have everything on full and you get a nice good rock or metal tone. But then just by altering your volumes and your switching and your tone, you can get a clean sound without touching anything on the amp. And that is what I really want to do. And if I need to get a bit more than I can get from the amp, all I need to do is kick onto my overdrive pedal, which is my overdrive of choice nowadays is I always play the Maxon love the Maxon 808 but I have a um, Boss SD1 which is the super drive or super overdrive 
It is a fantastic little pedal. I have a tiny bit of drive on there, not a lot. I just have a tone just above half and I have a volume on full and it's amazing it kicks right in. But this guitar now, it's fantastic. I'm going to get onto my online lessons when I've got some time. I'm going to learn how to play a strap properly. Like I said, I've had to fiddle about with some of the tones on, on the these two pickups together with the coil split. When I have a coil split, it's just this one on. Uh, when I have it full, it's obviously both. And I've also been going between the middle and neck pickups as well. So positions two and four are really, really nice. But I love all the positions. The guitar looks absolutely fabulous. I have already ordered the uh, strap locks and they are gold. So I'm going to have to upgrade this to gold hardware, aren't I? Uh, that's something I'm going to do over the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that. I will add those upgrades to this video. And I'll release the video as one long video in due course. But for the moment... That is this guitar I've done, so I'm going to release this part of the video now. And when I when I get the gold hardware, I'll add it to it and I'll um, release it again as a longer version. But for the moment, and for the time being, this guitar is finished. It's a beauty, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. It has set me back. It's probably cost me three. The guitar was three hundred quid. The case I had, I had a Hitchcock case for it. I was probably spent another one hundred and fifty pounds. So this guitar has cost me four hundred and fifty quid. Needs a little bit of fretwork doing sometime in the future, but for now it is beautiful. It's a it's a great player. It's going to be my pick up and play guitar in the workshop when I'm not working, and I'm going to enjoy it. So fret friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy, uh, yeah, enjoy well, not enjoying it as much as I do, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Be good to each other.